Hi, we're, we're the Wine, Wine Ladies. Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome to the Wine Ladies Talking Wine with the Stars, Day 5. We're still on the couch, but it's going to be an incredible day. It sure is. Now joining us, we have Jonathan King. Jonathan is a director and premiering his film, Under the Mountain, a fabulous children's fantasy that is a New Zealand film. And we're going to speak to Jonathan now all about this incredible movie. Welcome, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Great is this your here. first time to Toronto? No, I was here three years ago with my first film, uh, which was called Black Sheep, which uh -huh. was a, a comedy horror film, which was in Midnight Madness. So, oh. so great to be back. Excellent. Nice to have you, and congratulations on Under the Mountain. Thank you very much. And what's this movie all about? Uh, it's a scary uh, sort of family adventure, kind of family, but a scary film for kids um, about uh, some alien creatures that live under the volcanoes that Auckland City is built on oh. and so the heroes are, are a, a couple of twins who who discover that they're the only ones who can save the world from these terrible creatures oh, that's awesome. the and when was the screening the screening was yesterday okay uh, yeah and it was uh, it was terrific it was a pretty full house and lots of uh, young and uh, older people laughing in the right places and jumping in the right places now you're all, that's important you're looking for that absolutely uh -huh. yeah Fantastic. And do you have something new, something else coming down the pipeline? or? Uh, I've got a few things at early stages, but I've really only finished this one um, a couple of months ago, sort of, you know, only 10 or 12 weeks ago, really. So, um, so uh, yeah, just getting this one out there and seeing what happens from there, really. Now, we love the wines of New Zealand. Are you a wine drinker? I am. I'm a red wine drinker, yes. Uh, oh, so you like your Pinot Noirs? I do like Pinot Noir very much, yes. Wonderful. Okay. I was actually, uh, the, one of the stars of Under the Mountain is Sam Neill, who, um, yes. who of course is one of uh, New Zealand's most well-known actors, but is also a uh, winemaker himself of, mm. of very, very good wine. Mm -hmm. And so, how long has uh, Sam been making wine, would I you say? I think um, maybe 10 years or so. He, oh, okay. He, he says he just does it as a hobby to, to make enough to get him and his friends a bit pissed now and then. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Um, <laughs> But he, no, he sells very good wine as well. Well, we yeah. always say, how do you earn a million dollars in the wine right. industry? Start off with two million, right? So. <laughs> well, I think, yes, I think he needs to be a, um, a, a successful actor to afford to have a vineyard. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the cast in Under the Mountain. Well, What's Sam's uh, role, for example? Sam plays, uh, Sam plays a character called Mr. Jones, who is, he's kind of the, um, the kind of the wise old man, the Obi-Wan Kenobi, Gandalf kind of character. Yeah. But, um, one thing we really wanted to do in the film was we've seen so many of those kind of cuddly old wise old men that we wanted to give it a bit of edge and and Sam was someone we thought of who who has a great you know who's great at actually a kind of darker side and and um, you know so we wanted him to have uh, not not know if we can trust him and and um, you know uh -huh. is he a goodie or a baddie and um, so Sam was really terrific and really embraced that side of it and so he actually looks you know he's sort of all unshaven and kind of dressed like an old tramp in the film and. Uh, which was something he really embraced and had a lot of fun with. Too bad he didn't bring any, we don't have any of his wine to try here today. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> yeah. Two paddocks it's called, yes. <laughs> oh, that's right, two yeah. paddocks, yes, yeah, we've heard about good. that, yeah. yeah. And so, and are there, there's two main characters, the two young, are they two young boys? Or a uh, they're boy? a boy and a girl who are twins in the film. Okay. And, um, and they're, both, uh, they're both young New Zealanders who have never been in a film before. And, oh. um, and they were amazing, yeah. Um, they're, they're called Sophie McBride and Tom Cameron. Uh huh. First and how old are the how old are the children? They are uh, they're playing fifteen in the film, and uh, she in fact was uh, seventeen and he was sixteen. Oh, okay. Do you find it more difficult to direct younger people that have less experience than? Um, older actors that have had a lot more experience? Uh, well, an actor like Sam Neill, obviously, um, is a real joy to work with. and um, Very professional. Uh, very professional, but I'm mean, incredibly sort of creative as well and, and understands what you're asking for. And right. the hardest thing with Sam, in fact, was he would kind of nail it first time and I'd go, oh. Hey, you've done my um, job. <laughs> and I'd say, well, that's all right. And he'd say, no, we should go again. I'd go, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go have a coffee. <laughs> and, and he, in fact, was very... Um, very supportive to the kids as well and gave them a huge and gave uh -huh. them sort of practical tips but as well as you know even when he was off camera kind of giving a hundred percent to them which was fantastic really kind of lifted their game yeah. but they were I mean they were really extraordinary too and they didn't what they didn't have an experience I think they kind of made up for in, in natural talent and instinct and and also worked really hard uh, too to be to be as good as they could and, mm -hmm. and in fact by not you know I guess Having some experience can actually give you sort of bad habits, or you, 
you know, right. there are some kids, there are some kids we auditioned who had more experience, but actually had thought they were better actors. You could see them they acting. They already had an yeah. attitude yeah. of some yeah. kind. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, so it can um, work both ways, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And these kids, these, I mean, these kids were amazing. And, and something quite natural and real, I think, on the, in the film. That's great. Well, I know there's um, quite a contingency here from New Zealand. I think there's yeah. three films that are there premiering are, yeah. at TIFF, right? Mm. There's mm. The, uh, the Vintner's Luck, which is, of course, all about vineyards, which we're excited to go and see. And then yours, and then we met um, a couple the of ladies, the twins. Top twins. The yes, top twins. Their indeed. film is also um, premiering here at TIFF. Yes. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, hooray for New Zealand. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, we wish you lots of luck with Under the Mountain. Thank you very it was much. It's nice to meet you, Jonathan. You too. And let's Thank toast you. to your film. Thank you very much. Fabulous director. And bringing home an Oscar. How's that? Uh, I like uh, that. That's perhaps a little further down the line. Oh, but, who uh, knows? You never know. <laughs> we'll put it out in the universe. You never know. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Cheers. Okay, cheers. cheers. to you.